Okay, world. Uh, I think this is part three. All right, this is uh, all the installation. I think better without the light, maybe. But uh, that maybe I don't know if the camera if that's better with the light. But anyways, um, should be I would think. Anyways, uh, that's the corner of this uh, three-door prep table. Um, so I insulated this with the foam insulation stuff. Uh, just that corner where all the suction accumulator and everything is. Um, and also I just uh, so I siliconed. I f actually I found out the, what the major problem is. What a would have believe it is. I saw a hint of corrosion starting aluminum, where it gets the aluminum gets pitted uh, along the bottom corner of the evaporator. So this whole evaporator uh, shroud would have to be uh, replaced. I believe it's all starting to corrode out. This is a 2008 or 2009 unit, and this is uh, February. 5th of uh, 2015 so didn't last very long um, this is a huh it's a restaurant so obviously anyways so what I did was uh, silicone uh, it's not a pizza place so anyways uh, so it doesn't have like pizza sauce or anything in here I'm guessing uh, onions they do onions here on their sandwiches the onions are probably uh, yeah, they're open. The onions are open uh, in the containers on this prep table, and that's what's doing it. The onions, the corrosion, corrosiveness of if you have uh, limes, lemons, anything acidic, tomato sauce, and onions, pickles. They do pickles here too. Yeah, so that's probably what it is. Uh, the acid stuff, anyways. Um, it's corroding out the aluminum. So these are true refrigerators anyhow, so the trues are entry level refrigerator. It's not like uh, a top of the line unit like a Trollson or a Continental, you know, where they're made really to a lot more money, you know, probably talking an extra grand. But in my mind, worth it if you got it, you know, you get a lot, lot more time. You can get like 30 years out of Trollson sometimes. Bodies really are good. Anyways, um... So also I ran a strip of duct tape along here, along that edge. I didn't want to silicone it just in case I got to take that apart or whatever. So I think the duct tape should be good enough. It's not like pressure area or anything like that. It's just keeping the drips away, you know. So um, hopefully it stands up. If it doesn't stand up, I'll silicone it, you know. But I want to be able to remove that if I have to get in there for a leak or something. But uh, anyhow... Yep, so what I found out is the bottom edge of this cover is uh, just starting to corrode out. Probably got a few holes, little pinholes or whatever going along there. So um, only lasted uh, like from 2009 to beginning of 2015, so only like five, six years. So yeah, that's probably about par for the course these days, um, you know. So uh, hopefully you like the videos. Part 1, 2, and 3. Hopefully you watched them all. Uh, hit like, please, and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And uh, Alright, take her easy, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.